Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your messages for June 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Just to let you know, I will be announcing the winner of the ring competition at the end of this week. I've had quite a few songs to go through, so please bear with me. And I will be doing an in-depth love reading in the next couple of days. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight to your reading, Sag. For those of you who are interested, I'm using the White Witch Tarot to get the overall energy for the month of June. Sagittarians, June 2020. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Thank you. Thank you so much. What do my beautiful Sagittarius need to know? June 2020. What is the overall energy? June 2020. Uh, for those of you who are interested, these are major arcana cards uh, to give that overall energy. Thank you so much. And I only take jumpers from the pack. I do not... Ooh, that's feisty, Sag. That just shot right over. That is amazing. I'm just going to get that energy for you. Card. Okay. Yeah, they want it this way. So, oh, okay. So... We have, this is so interesting, I did a pre-read for you, um, just before, uh, I always uh, shuffle and do a bit of a pre-read before I start the main read, and the Empress came up as your first card, and now we have the Emperor, okay, but we did have the Death card uh, twice, so just to let you know that this is the overall energy. So this is the protagonist energy here for June for you, and this is about, um, you know, being a bold leader, okay, finally stepping into that wonderful um fiery spirited energy that you have that enthusiasm uh, for go-getting and achieving okay so you're ready for action as June um, comes on in there Sag okay this is an Aries uh, energy here but it uh, is resonating with uh, the, the power that you're standing in um, you, you are emanating like this charm charisma you know what you want and you you want to go get it okay you, it's almost like you've got a new mojo that you just want to jump on in and start um, you know, creating your destiny. This is also an entrepreneurial spirit uh, energy that we, we got here with that emperor card. It is about um, leadership, you know, having that respect and planning for that future, you know, strategically planning your moves to set either a new business, um, you know, uh, on fire with all of your wonderful ideas and passion. Um, but it's also about um, looking after, you know, your money and, um, you know, just leading and having a lot of people actually maybe even come to you for advice um, with regards to how you are so um, stoked up about what it is you truly want to do. Okay. It, it is, um, the emperor is always about um, having the power to action it all without breaking a sweat. Okay. They just, they know what they're doing. They're, they're um, how is it? Uh, they are a master of their craft, as it were. They know exactly what they want and how they're going to go and get it because they've made a plan. Okay, so uh, June is you starting to plan here. Now, this is the antagonistic energy that is facing you, the thing that is crossing you, and we've got justice. Okay, so justice is a Libra energy, so it's about that balance, that balance and harmony. Sometimes, you know, you get so excited, Sag, about an idea and a, and a passion project, you get so energized that then you put yourself slightly out of balance because you're so high with the energy and that, that adrenaline that comes from, you know, wanting to action a new idea. And then it puts you out of balance because the swing on the other side is you get a bit of a, a, a low ebb. Okay. So it's about trying to maintain that balance um, when you are reaching for your dreams. Okay. Um, also, the justice card is about cause and effect. The things that you're putting into place, the structures, the plans uh, for the future, they will serve your higher purpose in the future, okay? So things that you do now, the seeds that you sow will come to fruition and you will reap what you sow, as it were. Whatever you put in is exactly what you get out. There will be a justice, but you feel here with that antagonistic energy that um, justice doesn't always prevail. You feel like, you know, sometimes things, life just isn't fair and actually things don't turn out the way that you want them to. So why should you proceed? Okay. So you have this back and forth energy of, I want to go and get it, but you know what? Life isn't fair sometimes and maybe you just don't get what you truly deserve. So should I really extend myself? 
that is the energy you have to overcome and you have to leave with that emperor energy which is you know setting your world on fire with your goals and your dreams and go getting them achieving them this is what you can do okay and um, the justice card is um, you know the truth will come out regarding the situation and justice will prevail you will get what you truly deserve but you just must believe it to be so because it's in the antagonistic position which means um you know you don't quite believe that you'll get what you deserve if you put the work in there sag okay now you're not uh you're not afraid of hard work in any shape or form you are extremely passionate and powerful and hardworking, enthusiastic about what you truly desire but you are constantly asking yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I do so much. I just don't see the rewards of what I uh, put out. I don't see the input. Okay. So often it puts you off balance there and makes you feel like maybe you should give up. Spirit saying no. That is the energy to overcome. You need to see the truth of the situation about divine timing. All these plans are put in place so that in the future, when the moment is right, you can get your karma, okay? Uh, and it's good karma, very positive karma. Justice is about your karma. So it is about what you put out, you can you draw back in. So it is that wonderful giving, receiving exchange with the universe there of, you know, if you do bad in the world, it will come back to you. If you do good, it will come back to you also. Often um, you normally get like a step up in karma. So if you, whatever level you've given out, say for example, you were, um, I don't know, an eight in the scale of being good, you know, you often get a reward of a 10, you know, coming back to you because it is um, a wonderful balanced exchange, um, but you, you, you tend to have to learn lessons. So we just get a little bit more karma than we uh, expected so that we learn the lessons quicker, okay? So you need, need to be mindful there that um, this energy is throwing you off balance and perhaps getting you getting in the way of you fully actioning what it is you truly desire because of these doubts okay do not have any doubts you're going to be very successful now the unifying energy of the month here for you my beautiful sagittarians is uh the death card and don't get scared everyone gets a little bit nervous about this but um the death card is actually very positive number 13 scorpionic energy which is you know rising from the flames or anything that does not serve you did not did not go the way you expected rising from those flames um, you know like a phoenix and you know leaving those ashes behind and rising up to uh, abundance to success okay so that is the energy energy that is unifying you big changes allowing these big changes to happen okay and making big changes in your life Okay, this is a time to move on from anything that does not serve you. And the thing that does not serve you is those doubts, okay, about whether it's worth it, whether your energy output is worth the uh, gains that you will receive. Um, you need to change your mindset on that, okay? So with that death energy uh, comes a rebirth, a transformation of thoughts, energies, ideas, and it often leads uh, to very successful outcomes. You've learnt lessons and you're moving on from that, okay? Uh, death is the transformation to success, always, you know. Um, so that is the unifying energy. Remember that anything that hasn't gone well in the past, uh, any rejection is a protection for the future, okay? It is guiding you in a different direction there for your higher purpose. So never think of anything that went wrong in the past or does not serve you as uh, you made a mistake or it is a failure it is not we learn lessons from these things so that we do not carry those cycles with us to the next situation we learn from them we grow and we rise the death card is about rising okay so that is the energy that is uh, pulling you through uh, June and uh, we're just gonna put that there and we're gonna go deeper now and find out a little bit more about what's going on in the the details uh, in the read thank you so much Ooh, okay they really really want to talk to you today uh they want to give that card first okay come to that oh okay. did i not say in the pre-read we got the empress and now we got the emperor okay sag this is serious energy i'm loving it so this is full power mode okay this is a uh, twofold uh, message here one is uh, you know, this entrepreneurial spirit um, with that overall energy of go-getting, pushing forward, the masculine energy. I hate the way people explain this because I believe masculine and feminine 
and feminine energy. They both are go-getting energies and they both do and create, but often in Tarot, they explain the uh, masculine energy as uh, the, the, the energy that actions things in the feminine energy that implements the ideas in terms of creativity. They're the thought behind the throne, that sort of thing. So um, I believe though that it is balanced. Um, but you're getting both energies here, okay? So the Empress is about creativity. What it is you truly desire, actioning that, okay? It's a very fertile time in terms of creating your business or any ideas that you've had that you really want to um, try something new or, you know, you want to um, take a chance on a, a new path or, um, you know, it will, it will step you into uh, abundance. It will draw a lot of... Um, goodness towards you uh, it will be a harvest time for a success and uh, abundance as it were okay this is a very as i said fertile time so some of you may be thinking about having children as well okay and whether you're in the right relationship for that uh it's clear that you have the empress and the emperor here so whoever you're dealing with this is a, a divine connection here you have the counterpart so that is the dual energy we're getting. But ultimately, it's about giving birth to uh, new creative ideas or to children, if that is what uh, you, your, your life plan is about. Um, it is a very successful union and a very creative, uh, fertile time for you, okay? So a lot of success is on the cards for you in terms of uh, not only your business, because um, the emperor and the empress, they are achievers, okay? They step into their power of all knowing that they can have what they truly desire and they harvest it, okay? They've reaped the, the, the they've, uh, they're reaping the, the rewards of the, the seeds that they've sown, okay? So June is very much about that for you, okay? Um, reaping the rewards of what it is you have uh, desired to have in your life, okay? Um, but also because it's the Empress and we have the counterpart there, the Emperor, this is about your soulmate, your divine counterpart, meeting somebody who is uh, in balance with you, okay? Who um, you almost, you uh, compliment each other is the word they give me, compliment. So one is very uh, strategic and plans for the future, is a wonderful father figure. And we have the Empress who is a wonderful mother type figure, uh, Earth Mother, who, uh, you know, is very creative and loving and just all encompassing and understanding with that supportive, nurturing energy here. Okay, so the, uh, someone here in your realm sees you um, as either the emperor or the empress. Okay, uh, we'll see if they're uh, going to communicate it because there is some sort of doubting energy going on here um, in in the the antagonist position but we'll get a little bit more but you're completely sitting in your power you're owning yourself you've done a lot of work on your soul here Sagittarians and you have um, you're loving yourself okay you're finally starting to love yourself and respect uh, yourself both in the mind the body and it's a beautiful energy the hermit Ooh. okay so the hermit mode is a Virgo energy and it is a personal quest for clarity okay spiritual illumination it is about connecting the two. You need to start believing that the universe has your back and that it actually is a fair universe. It doesn't feel like it's a fair world or universe here, okay? And interestingly, in the pre-read, the world card came up for you as well. Um, it doesn't feel like a, a very fair, balanced um, situation for you is what I'm getting here. Now, this uh, being another major arcana card, um, which you have just... I mean, it's a real power month for you, Sag, because uh, we've got five majors on the board here and no minors at the moment. So this is a big deal with regards to your life. And it is about gaining that spiritual illumination of what it is you truly desire to do. Because you have it all. You have the... the you have the ability to strategically plan for your future, you have the passion, you have the creative skills, you have the know-how, and you have that wonderful, supportive, nurturing energy. You can go and get whatever you truly want, but it feels like the thing that is holding you back is either you're not sure what you want to do, okay, so you're trying to tip the scales in the balance of either or situation, um, and you're trying to work out what's going on there, um, but you're trying to work, it feels like you're trying to work out what you want to do that will give you results back rather than the, the thing that you really passionately want to do because you feel that the justice may not be served on it, that you may not, you know, it may not be a win-win situation for you if you follow your absolute heart. The cards are saying that 
that you can have what you truly desire. You have all the skills, you have everything within you to go and get what you want there. But that hermit mode card is to go within for a, a personal quest for that truth, that spiritual illumination. You need clarity, okay? You need to see things clearly. Look at that justice card. The sword is through the eyes. You're not seeing things clearly. So they want you to go within to find that hope again. So when you've got the, the hermit card, uh, you can see this old man here. He's got a lantern and he's trying to shine the, the light and the darkness on some. He's illuminating what could be the issues. Yeah. But he look at him. He's old and weary with life. It's like jaded. It's this energy of feeling jaded. You know what? Things I do, it never works out. So, I mean, why should I put all of my energy into this thing? Because the world is not a fair place and, you know, I, I haven't got, you know, what I truly wanted so far. So, you know, it's that jaded kind of energy. Now, the, the Hermit Mode card, the, the Hermit goes in deep within in solitude, silence, meditation, and finds out what they truly want to do, that desire, that quest for personal truth, okay? And often when he comes out the other side, he is like a child. He is rejuvenated. He has new energy to proceed, okay? So Spirit is just saying that the, the thing that is holding you back is you, you've, you've kind of lost your mojo a little bit in terms of, you know, believing in yourself, in the um, situation, in terms of you know, the exchange with the universe. Now, I don't mean in, in terms of you've lost uh, your mojo in terms of yourself, because I see you loving yourself and having self-respect for yourself. It just feels like you feel a little bit alone that the universe hasn't got your back here. That's what I'm getting here, okay? But they're saying that is the energy for you to work on. The, the antagonist position is that energy you need to, to quash, okay? Ha! And with the transformation, the death card, comes the Nine of Cups, everything you ever wish for. Okay, Sag, you got to start believing because, uh, and also I, I really fully expect to see the Magician card come here and maybe in even in the Justice um, section here because I really feel uh, you need to hone in what it is you truly desire there. You wish fulfillment, everything you truly desire, once you make that transformation here, okay, and you have that rebirth, finding your mojo again, Everything you truly wanted, that wish fulfillment, it's yours for the taking, okay? As I said, you've got it all going on here. Now, this is also in terms of relationship. I feel some of you have had uh, past relationships, uh, romantic relationships that did not serve you, that did not work out. Now, you were meant to learn lessons from them. And uh, I feel like you did go within to get spiritual uh, truth and illuminated uh, on your darkness. You know, had a couple of dark nights of the soul, as it were. Um, and to process that, you come out the other side. Now, they may be suggesting here that there's still a little bit of residue for you to still lift yourself and move on, but June is the month to do it here, okay? Everything you truly desire. This is material happiness, uh, it's good health, it is, most importantly, emotional contentment. This person is sitting in the middle of all those cups, they are full to the brim, okay? They are just anything that that person wants, anything you want, Sag, it is yours for the taking. But you must overcome these doubts, okay? That um, what you want truly wants you, okay? There is karma, good karma coming to you. And also, what you put out, you will get back, okay? It is not an unfair exchange, but you must believe because those are the doubts. They're just putting you up against a bit of a brick wall here, okay? And stopping you from just really transforming and getting what you truly desire. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords and it's in reverse. So there is some sort of recovery going on here with that Five of Swords. Um, you know, it's a peaceful time after... Okay, one second. They're just giving me something. Okay, so there is a, res a residue kind of energy uh, coming perhaps from a connection you felt um, from the past, which was you thought someone was your uh, counterpart. You felt that they uh, were your divine timing. Um, you've waited a long time for a relationship and you felt that this person was the right person and something didn't work out here, okay? Uh, this was some sort of, um, I'm getting that there's some sort of abandonment issues with this person and they fully could not connect. They were immature and they could not, um, they could not communicate how they felt uh, truly and therefore they kind of run away okay they ran away from the connection and uh, did not serve uh, either of you and it left you um, very 
uh, disoriented is there the, the word they're giving me I know there's heartbreak there but they're leaving they're giving me the word disoriented like you're sitting there like what, what just happened or, or what 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 happened here it's really a confused energy here disoriented is the, the word um, so they acknowledge as I said the heartbreak but that is the word that they're giving you like you don't get it I don't understand what happened there okay so but this is a piece full time after that okay and it is uh, it is showing you that you recovered now okay that that um, that time is now over okay the time to find your counterpart is now that person was not your counterpart okay they were not the Emperor that's what they're giving me from this card and uh, this is a time you caught them doing something or you know you, you could just caught them in, Sagittarius, I've got to say this about you. They're giving me this right now, which is um, you tell it how it is and you don't care how blunt it is because it is the truth. OK, now it's not that you don't care about hurting other people. It's just sometimes you blurt out what you, you feel is true in the situation, because what's the point in BSing anyone? OK, so you are tr you truly own yourself here. You have you have you are the queen of Smackdown sometimes male or female that is not a gender specific thing to say it, either way you just own it when it comes to calling people out on their BS okay and you did that that is what happened here and that person ran away because they couldn't confront someone who is so honest and brutally so they couldn't do it because they cannot even be honest with themselves okay so they're saying do not give up on hope with regards to finding your counterpart because that counterpart I feel like is showing up somehow in June. We're going to get a little bit more clarity when we go to um, the second deck there. But uh, they're saying, do not give up on any connection here. Uh, they're not giving me the person in the past. Uh, they're giving me someone who deserves you is coming. Okay, that is what they're giving me here. And High Priestess. I mean, seriously, we have mages. Uh, justice, you know, Justice will be yours. Good karma is coming your way. But you need to know what it is you truly desire and you need to listen to your instincts. They're giving me uh, this on a dual, um, a dual level as well, which is one, uh, listen to your instincts in terms of what you truly deserve, okay? Because um, what you deserve, you have to believe that you deserve it. That's what they're giving me. You have to believe that you deserve it. So, um, and you are deserving, Sag. You are deserving for everything that you truly desire because you're a beautiful soul and, uh, you know, you work so hard. You are so thoughtful for other people and so loyal, committed and, you know, protective of those that you love. And you totally deserve uh, true love and also happiness um, on the material plane. The physical plane is what I mean by material plane. Okay, so the high priestess is reminding you that the things that you know do not serve you is often you dismiss your gut, your gut instinct. You you second guess yourself, Sag. These doubts are just coming on in there, and there is no need to to rethink your yourself, as it were. It is a double uh, that high priestess mode. It is a double Virgo. Okay, in the justice. Uh, section here Dub double Virgo energy so Virgo placement could be quite strong here either you dealt with a Virgo in the past or someone has a Virgo placement uh, with regards to your situation but this is secrets being revealed okay uh, the justice is also again uh, the justice card is about you know truth coming out okay so trust your instincts you may have um Okay, they're giving me another uh, situation where uh, some sort of truth may be revealed about your past situation, which may throw you off balance a little bit. It may pull you uh, back from, um, okay, pull you back from that go-getting energy and put you in your mind, overthinking a situation. They're saying, trust your instincts. Do not go into an over-analytical mode on this. Um, what happened in the past with this person was all about them, okay? You are full you are enough that's what they're giving me with that emperor and that empress card uh, both that energy you have it all going on Sag this person did not they were uh, in a, a state of lack okay they did not love themselves they ran away from any sort of intimate connections there and uh, they they could also have an air uh, element there uh, they give me uh, connection to that Aquarius Gemini or Libra but they're saying air 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 with that obviously because it's swords but they only point it out when it's important to do so um, but they're showing me that uh, this was all on the other person okay sorry cross watchers this is how I'm getting it so please do not shoot me this is what I'm I'm getting here they were not mature enough to love all that you are 
and is what they're saying to me, Sag. So they, this person you were dealing with was not mature enough to all, love all that you are because you were full and you understood yourself and you knew what you wanted and therefore that scared them because they could not. They felt that they weren't good enough to be all that you wanted and they weren't. They really weren't because they were in a toxic cycle somewhere and uh, you, you, you just need to trust your instincts on it. Any red flags that comes up for you, you need to seriously trust your instincts because they're on point, okay? So they're asking you, uh, when you go deep within for clarity, trust your instincts. Listen to those deep voices that come from your gut, okay? It will not do you wrong. But they want to push you forward towards your wish fulfillment. So they're propelling you here towards your desires, but they really, thank you so much, they really want you to know what it is you truly want. It's not the time for indecision now, Sag, is what I just got. It's not the time for indecision now, Sag, exactly like that, okay? So confusion here um, when it comes to your goals, okay? Now you may feel like you have to make a compromise because maybe the thing that you truly desire to do is not financially viable at this time or uh, the thing that you truly want to do cannot be actioned at this time because we're all in this lockdown mode, uh, you feel like there is some sort of compromise here and you have to make a decision. Uh, you're slightly confused about it um, because deep down you think that this uh, wish fulfillment is possibly, um, they're giving me uh, that you feel it's unachievable. It's not. That's not true, Sag. Uh, you, 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 can, you can have anything that you truly desire, okay? No matter, they're saying, dream bigger, dream bigger. You can have as big as you want. Just dream bigger is what they're giving me. So do not, um, do not feel like you have to compromise on anything. It will all be in divine timing and it will all slot into place here, okay? Um, but it's about making a decision, ultimately. You need to make a decision. What is it you truly desire? You're, you're transforming now. June is a big month for you. You can have it all. You've got everything that you need to like, take the world uh, by storm, as it were. And you just No indecision is needed right now. Trust your gut instincts, okay? Now, when you get the high priestess mode as well, uh, they are pointing me towards... Um, uh, yeah, they're, they're pointing me towards... Um, not meditating or visualizing or, you know, not seeing what it is you truly desire. And that is why you're clouded here. Um, so maybe some of you are new to meditating or visualization and you're finding it very hard. Uh, maybe some of you um, find it hard to concentrate in general when it comes to visualizing what you truly want. Um, maybe some of you are scattered, okay, because there is that, uh, you know, that energy of indecision there. Uh, they're asking you to make some serious decisions as to what you want because they cannot bring you Sag what you truly desire if you do not know yourself okay so now they're giving me it's almost like a shopping list <laughs> they're they're giving me like a <laughs> they've given me like a small piece of paper maybe somebody is doing this out here out there as I speak uh, because it's very clear I'm seeing a really small rectangular line sheet of paper it's got law of attraction written on the top and it's got a list here of things you truly desire and it's someone's folding it up and they're putting it in a little pot and they're burning it and releasing it to the universe. That's what I'm getting, okay? So maybe that might help you uh, because they're giving me that image. But you need to be clear about what you truly desire. It is all yours for the taking. Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What else do they need to know? <laughs> I expected the Hierophant to turn up, but uh, I thought it would come in the, in the upright. So this is interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So we have, uh, again, number five. So it is it is connecting here to the Five of Swords here for the, the Hierophant. Perhaps you thought you would marry this person that you thought was your emperor or empress. You really felt the connection was uh, a twin flame kind of uh, karmic bond. They're saying no. Um, but that person is to come for you. Uh, again, do not shoot the messenger, Sag. I'm only reading what they're giving me. I can only give you the truth of what the cards are saying. I will not BS you in any way. Uh, so perhaps you felt that this was a divine connection um, and that you would marry this person. Um, or that is what was expected within the realms of your relationship with this person. And you feel like uh, an injustice was done here um, and that you will not find your soulmate because you felt like that was the person 
and that it didn't work okay that is not true they really want you to know that that is not true this person was not your soulmate uh, they want to clarify that and they were not marriage material because they were not full like you are full and you are ready to meet your divine counterpart they were not they were lacking and they did not love themselves and when a person does not love themselves they cannot possibly offer love to another person okay there will always be an unfair exchange there um, so yeah, they, they, that is not, yeah, it, okay, they're just giving me the, because the, twi uh, the, the two of cups there is in reverse, um, this is, uh, it talks about a dual energy here, about a breakup, separation, uh, disagreements, um, you know, definitely arguments, uh, which is normally in that position, but uh, it's over now, um, so there's peace after that time, uh, but they're showing me that this uh, separation, it was meant to happen, you're meant to learn lessons, because the high priestess there, uh, and it was supposed to give you uh, spiritual illumination and truth, justice will prevail, karma is on your side, Sag, okay, so do not worry about that, you do not have to carry any uh, karmic baggage for this, uh, in terms of, you know, um, Things that were said or th how things were left because the other person they were the they were the uh person who who i feel again do not shoot the messenger uh who did all this okay they created the mess and you had to learn the lessons from it you were left with the karmic um uh, spiritual uh, guidance to get some sort of uh, lesson from it and uh, uh, spiritual illumination. It was to teach you how to trust your gut instinct because they're giving me red flags. You ignored red flags, okay? You knew something was going down there, but you chose to believe that this was your soulmate and hope for the best, okay? Um, so it wasn't your divine counterpart, but that person is coming, okay? But there is a realization perhaps here um, because we have that transformation moving on from this energy um, that you realize that this person was not your soulmate and could not possibly have been your soulmate because no soulmate would have treated you the way that this person did is what they're giving me okay so another five five is a powerful number about changes and obstacles you know overcoming obstacles and we have three fives on the board here okay so um, what we've got is uh, the five of wands in reverse and this is harmony this is success okay all over here we have transformation okay um it's almost like they're re they're reading you a love reading over here and uh a business reading like uh you know whatever you truly desire to do in life over here it's really split this is so unusual it's a very unique board for me and there is lessons down the center here uh, this never normally happens okay Sag so really pay attention to this energy because it is unique there is a serious message here this is a success card overcoming the obstacles which is all about the death card overcoming obstacles rebirth big changes endings beginnings moving on and transforming to your higher abundance okay your prosperity path you've got the nine of cups there with your wish fulfillment whatever you truly desire you can have as long as you make a decision okay as long as you know what it is you truly desire and i feel after a relationship you kind of this relationship i feel like you kind of do know exactly what you do want and what you don't want and you will be speaking your truth um and making it so but also the five of wands in reverse is success victory okay problems being resolved and problems being resolved is your doubts your conflicts your inner doubts there about the universe being fair or getting what you truly deserve or you know getting what you want um you know seeing the truth of the situation that you have the power within you you are completely full there sad you have the power of creativity of planning ahead of entrepreneurial spirit i really feel that you are free spirited and ready to take action okay i really get that energy there so this is a very successful time for you june is on fire there's a lot of spiritual truth coming here for you a lot of awakening okay i see a lot of awakening perhaps you're, you're going to start to realize um how to move forward with that sort of um you know manifesting and you know success is yours this is a huge transformation in success line this is exciting i'm so excited for you okay we're going to get some more uh, clarity here with the fountain tarot so for those of you who are interested uh the foundational read here was uh the rider weight tarot the traditional one and this is the um fountain 
Tarot by John Tinsuis. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please clarify for my beautiful Page of Swords? Oh my gosh, I should have said it. I should have said it. So, but I didn't. So I can't claim it. If I don't say it, it it's not true. Um, well, I, what I mean is it is true, but I, I thought the Page of Swords and the Page... Sorry, I thought the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands will come up in your reading. Um, I should have said it because then when it does come up, it's even more exciting for me. But I didn't, so therefore I can't prove it. Anyway, uh, Page of Swords here, which is... Um, your ex i'm sorry okay um so this is somebody who does actually still keep tabs on you they want to know um what you're up to okay um uh, now uh they want to know what you're up to because they start seeing you stepping forward towards success it is here okay in the spread which shows me that they see you are fully in your power you are creating the world that you desire you're overcoming self-doubt okay they no longer have control over that so maybe they tried to make you feel jealous or uh, unbalanced in the relationship and they were kind of succeeding and they were your red flags even though you thought no no it's fine it's fine and they see that maybe they they're losing a little bit of power they're also wondering does my sad still think about me let's have a look have they moved on this is what i'm getting from this card very immature energy um yeah, this is also about you speaking your truth. Uh, they're just giving me that. It's an Aquarian energy. I did mention an air element there with regards to that Five of Swords. Um, but I'm getting um, that... I haven't got a reunion card right now, so I don't know if this person is coming back to tell the truth, but I really feel it's on the edge of their tongue. They want to communicate to you. They want to say, look, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about what I did to you. And you, you'll be like, um, I'm sorry, who this? I, I don't even know who you are. I've moved on. That's the energy I'm getting, okay? And that's not me. you being rude here. That is you being like, you know what? The past is in the past, honey. You just kind of stay there because I'm looking to the future here. And the future looks like it's success to me. So bye-bye uh, now. That's the energy I'm getting from this card, okay? Because you're overcoming self-doubt. You do not need to be with anyone who does not serve you, okay? You are waiting for an emperor, and this person is a freaking page, okay? There is no, can, there is no even, this person not even close to what you deserve, Sag, okay? So that's the energy they're giving me. Again, do not shoot the messenger. I'm here to just tell you what I'm being given. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians um, with regards to June 2020? Can you please clarify this reading? June 2020, my beautiful Sagittarians. Can you please guide them? Um, as I take jumpers from the pack, as I mentioned before, you may want to fast forward until the card comes up. Yeah. Uh, this person here has got nothing to give you. It is uh, Ace of um, Ace of Cups in reverse. This person has uh, nothing to give you here. Okay, They let you down. Um, they're feeling disappointed in themselves, and they're feeling really depressed that they let someone who was their empress go okay again not a gender specific reading uh, it could be let the emperor go okay uh, this person has got nothing new to say okay the past has got nothing new to say to you uh, that's what they're giving me here um, there is better on the way for you so if you do get that communication from that uh, page who's coming along to say hey I see you doing really successful now do you still think about me no um, move on uh, that's what I'm, I'm getting. I don't want, I'm not being mean here. I'm just saying that this person, they still are lacking in love for themselves. They're still lacking in, uh, you know, any sort of um, emotional depth uh, to offer you. Okay. So it's, it's not, <laughs> they just said, look at the bottom of the deck. I've obviously picked it up in the wrong way. I don't know how that even happened. Um, but uh, they said, look at the bottom of the deck. And there they are, okay? Feeling damn sorry for themselves. Four of Swords, okay? Four of Swords is feeling unfulfilled. And, um, you know, uh, they're just looking at their shoes, feeling really depressed. They missed out on you. Boo-hoo. Move on. Um, so, sorry, Sag. That's the energy I'm getting because I really feel this person's done quite a number on you. And, I, I, Sag, you, you're beautiful energy and you're just so exciting. Yeah, look at that. You're so exciting. And I just, you did, you've got the emperor and you got the empress. This is who's coming for you, okay? This is the energy that's propelling you forward, okay? So three of swords. Yeah, they're coming on in to give you an apology, okay? Um, this is heartbreak, loss, uh, 
you know, uh, this person, they, they just did a number on you. And I feel like someone's just done it to them. So now they finally f know how you feel is what I'm getting here. And they just want to say they're really sorry. But uh, it's coming more from a place of they're starting to see that uh, you were the empress or the emperor. And you were the best they could have ever got. And they let it go because they were an idiot. Um, yeah. But I really feel perhaps they're coming out of something themselves and it's making them realize it's like karma because justice is there connecting the whole thing. Justice prevailed and they got a big dose of karma and now they're broken and like, oh damn, I should have stayed with Sag, not because of this, but because I loved them and they were the best thing I ever had and too late, too late, move on. Um, that's the energy I'm getting, okay? Thank you so much. Could you please clarify um, June 2020? For my beautiful Sagittarians, what do they need to know for June 2020? Ooh, I think that's too many, but let's have a look. No, nope, they said, uh, I take these ones. Thank you so much. <laughs> Double nine of cups. Come on. Sag, number one, the first thing they said when I looked at this card was, you can manifest someone better, okay? The wish, you can wish for someone better because they're out there for you. Your emperor or empress is out there and they're just waiting for divine timing, okay? So double nine of cups, you can have whatever you truly desire, okay? This is both on the work front in terms of what you truly wanna do, the thing that sets your soul on fire that you wanna achieve, that's gonna give you an interesting free lifestyle, you know, you can have it, okay? Stop, um, Stop doubting yourself. That is the transformation. That is the energy of the thing you have to overcome. Okay, the only thing that is holding you back there. This Nine of Cups energy is exciting. With this transformation comes all that you desire. Okay, wish fulfillment, material abundance, great health, and absolute happiness. Okay, is you know the, the, the next wish up is the Ten, the Ten of Cups. That's what they're giving me. Now, hmm. They've given me the sun, but in reverse. Major Arcana, okay? It's delayed. Isn't it a... Oh, that's so annoying. It's delayed. So all your wishes are coming true, but and you will be happy, truly happy, but the sun is it's showing in reverse is that it is delayed. And why? Because you've got the indecision, okay? You have to listen to your instincts. The Indecision is just going to keep you on pause, okay? Write that list. What is it you truly desire? Start work, working towards that, okay? And do manifestation, meditation, visualization. It's so important, okay? Very important. I wouldn't be surprised if I, as I said, get the magician card here because I'm feeling this energy of, um, you know, not being able to see clearly as to what it is you truly want as like an end happiness, okay? So the sun is in reverse there. That does not mean that you will not get the sun. What it means is the sun has shown up on the board, so it is achievable, but it's in reverse, it's in delays because, um, you know, uh, there is a temporary energy getting on in the way that is making you wait, okay? And that is indecision. That is what I'm getting, conflict of uh, what it is you truly desire at the end of the day. So be more specific to let them know what it is that they can bring towards you and shift that energy, okay? Uh, it is an energy that will, once uh, you transform with that death card, um, that will free you completely. You'll have absolute freeness. Okay, we have 10 of wands in reverse. 10 of wands in reverse is taking a break, okay? Uh, taking a break and saying no. Have your boundaries up. People, you know, um, people expect a lot of you, Sag, okay? So if someone's coming on in there and asking you, um, you know, to do all these things for them, finally take that break and say, you know what, I, I really cannot help you right now. I need to take some time for myself and take that space. And it's okay to do that, okay? So don't let yourself be overburdened by anybody within um, either your work arena or, um, what are they giving me there? They're giving me the family life, um, so they're giving me, you know, if anybody keeps expecting things um, of you um, all the time to help them, you, you're giving your energy out and you're feeling depleted. So uh, it is about taking a little step back and lightening up about, you know, lightening up about what it is that you truly want, you know? It, it is like, you don't have to be so serious about it, Sag. 
just you know throw it out there yeah I, you know i've always wanted the house of my dreams it kind of looks like this this and this i would uh, you know that sort of energy put it out there you don't have to plan even though the emperor is there and the emperor is uh, strategically plans sometimes he forgets to have fun because he's too busy making that plan but you have the empress there so she is the fun counterpart so remember to have uh, your boundaries um, protected as it were from people who want you to over give to them okay that's both in relationships and in work situations if you feel somebody at work is not pulling their weight um, and you are constantly having the load put on top of you um, then you know speak your truth that's what they're giving me but it is there is victory here for you and success my heart for you Sag my heart for you justice will prevail okay karma is bringing you your soulmate okay you have nothing to fear here they are on their way and they are an emperor or an empress they are your counterpart they are the highest that they can be forget this page it replaces the page the two of cups is a wonderful romantic partnership some sort of proposal if you are with somebody at the moment that you're having problems with on and off okay and you make it work then they are your divine counterpart if they step up into that emperor energy and there will be a next stage in terms of relationship like a proposal engagement that sort of thing marriage um, but ultimately if you're single and uh, you know you're moving on to a more emotionally fulfilling relationship with someone who is your counterpart okay your soulmate someone who's on the same page as you who is not a page okay someone who is looking to the future with the same eyes that you are they want the same thing they are not running away and they are completely um, excited to walk the journey home with you as it were uh, through this lifetime three of wands is it coming together a collaboration okay now this uh, this is uh, three of wands so it's something that you're passionate about and you know that you want to achieve which in your work is about expansion okay it is about building upon your dreams getting what you truly desire and having all that you want come towards you and expand on it even more okay I get a, a sense that you want to travel with your work here and it will be open to you in the future when uh, we are able to uh, you know move more freely around the world so you will have that expansion to be able to travel and be free okay with whatever it is you want to do if you want to do some sort of job that is not the norm it is not nine to five then this tells me your entrepreneurial spirit is ready to rock and roll and go okay um, but also we have the three of wands a wish fulfillment in terms of relationship you want someone who's a team partner you know a you work as a team you want a partner who is on your side which is an obvious thing to say but this is a teamwork working together for a greater goal working together for a future happiness okay and you know moving forward with passion love coming together in strong emotion you've got it that is what the universe is bringing to you you start to see the shift of this happening June okay very beginning of June you start to feel very different Sag about who you are what you want it's almost like you're powering up in terms of energy and you're starting to realize first week of uh, June at the end of the first week into the second you start to see I could have anything I want if I wished hard enough for it if I start to visualize it there are seeds that are starting to sprout here first end of the first week of June into the second okay and then you start to see it grow from there so there's a lot of uh, success excitement and passion on its way for you Ooh. yeah okay they've given me a couple here oh my gosh I love it okay uh, I don't normally take the finals but they've asked me to take these so number one eight of so eight of uh, wands there okay you are on the right track okay you're on the right track the Sun is in the distance there that is the abundance the happiness ultimate happiness joyous outcome success victory across the board okay not only in terms of finding your soulmate and being with them and having having a happy life you're on this you're on the track you don't need to do anything uh, more let it happen it will be quite quick this change when the news arrives about it uh, this is a news card as well about your abundance wishes coming true some sort of successful news comes on in there to show you that actually you're being very 
victorious in whatever you, you truly desire to do, but you're on the right track and success, happiness and abundance is yours. Uh, the tower in reverse, interesting, it's over the justice card here. Do not fight any change, okay? Don't have a fear of change because it's often there for your greater good, okay? Uh, your doubts, don't fight the transition that you're in to overcome those doubts. When we have the tower card turn up in a reading, we, in the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, uh, a lightning bolt strikes a tower and the tower is on fire and two people, they jump out the window uh, into the unknown. Now, people often fear this card, but if you really think about it, this is the way I think about the energy and how I translate it into my life and the way uh, I translate it in readings is that the building is on fire, okay? And those people have to jump into the unknown and take that risk in order to survive, okay? And come out the other side successful. If they stayed in stagnant energy, stayed exactly where they were, the building's on fire, they would burn to death, okay? So this is about a shakeup of energy for your greater good to give you a chance to reach for something better, okay? So remember that when you see that tarot card. Do not resist the change because there's something better there for you is your soulmate, okay? And also success, all of your dreams coming true. Do not fight the energy, okay? Uh, and we have the nine of wands. Remember your boundaries, okay? Remember, keep your boundaries high. Don't let any person walk over you, Satch. Now, I don't imagine you do, but... There is a tendency when you're a giver uh, and you just have this beautiful heart, there is a tendency to overgive and people take advantage, okay? So they want you to be mindful. Keep your boundaries um, in terms of, um, you know, what you truly deserve. Keep those boundaries high, but open your arms and keep your boundaries low and, and down when it is time to receive true love, okay? Don't harden your heart. This is also a persistence card. Uh, Persist in your goals for expansion. All your dreams are coming true. Keep persisting. Keep believing that you deserve it. And the universe will be giving you what you deserve. Okay? It's a fair exchange, giving and receiving. And again, a double three of cups there. Okay? We had a three of cups there earlier, I believe. Did we? Maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah. So three of cups, celebration. Okay? Uh, circle of support around you, but this is everybody will be celebrating you. This is a coming together, a beautiful union, both in love, in friendship, um, and you know, in balance and the harmony. Okay, it is a, a very happy time for you. You'll start to see uh, all your success happening end of June. You start to see the shift. Okay, for your future happiness, it is in delay there, so you it will be just past June there. But there is much to celebrate in June because you start to see things shifting in all areas of your life for your greater wishes. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, thank you so much. We'll end it there. I'm just going to give you an angel oracle card by Doreen Virtue before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What do my beautiful Sagittarians need to know? regarding June 2020. Any further messages, June 2020? Can you please guide them to any further messages, June 2020? What do they need to know? Thank you. Thank you so much. The creative project, come on. This is what's happening. And they want one more, so I'm gonna get it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they truly, thank you. Innocence. Okay. So creative project. So if this is what you're trying to action, you know, this entrepreneurial thing that's going on here, you, you, got, you got the thumbs up from the universe here. Okay, it says your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Okay, so they really, really want you to press forward especially with that nine of wands, they've just given it to me again. Um, press forward, persist with your dreams on a creative project. It will be very successful and uh, you, it will be very victorious here, very abundant. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of success coming for you, especially with that five of wands in reverse, okay? Um, there are so much, so much success coming for you there. And we have innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. 
Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Okay, so when this person does return with some sort of apology or, uh, you know, some sort of communication there, lead with love and light. It is so easy for us to uh, be, to resist the, the situation and, uh, you know, have that sort of, uh, those feelings, those heavy feelings and, you know, it weighs us down. And Spirit's just saying, you know, lead with that love and if you have any issues, just give them over to Spirit, okay? Because you do not want to uh, engage in any sort of uh, negativity that brings your vibrations down but also gives you some sort of karmic uh, debt to heavy to make you heavy and not achieve your dreams. You've got everything going for you, Sag. So, you know, the past has nothing new to say, okay? Look forward to the future, forward only. Cool. So we're just going to give you a trinket before we go. Thank you so much for you guys. Great angels. What else my beautiful friends need to know regarding June 2020? I love that. Oh, I love that. So the first thing is uh, a key. Okay, okay here. Uh, this key, and it's got uh, almost like Mickey Mouse ears on it. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, they're giving me two things with this. One is unlocking um, the door to your true potential, and this is in terms of collaborating uh, and quality quality of craftsmanship because they're giving me the three of coins. I don't know if you can see there. There are three uh, three uh, circles there. There is a fourth one there, but they're giving me three. So um, they're, they're saying, you know, make sure you, the quality of your craftsmanship is up. You will collaborate with other people in order to step into your entrepreneurial spirit, um, but you have it all going on, okay? You, you, you're good at what you do. You have all the skills to make whatever it is you truly want to happen or action, okay? So just unlock that by getting rid of any doubts there. They want it over the justice card um, because they feel that is the only thing that is in your way and stopping you from moving forward. And you have the Pegasus, which is amazing. I always attribute this to Sagittarian energy itself, okay, because you have that wonderful horse energy, that archer, um, but the, the Pegasus is about reaching your goals, being free-spirited, um, you know, reaching for the stars, achieving your dreams, being very unique about what it is you truly do and what you truly desire, okay? Everything is yours for the taking. Spiritually, this is about freedom and achieving goals. And, uh, you know, whatever you truly desire is achievable. You can rise above any competition, any conflict, any obstacle and get to your destination. Okay, Sag, with that Pegasus, that is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, they do want this on two cards, which I love. They want it on the Two of Cups about your soulmate energy. And they want it on your Wish Fulfillment card, the Nine of Cups. Because whatever you want, Sagittarius, is yours for the taking. See it in your mind and you will hold it in your hand. They want you to know that. Very important. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians. I hope that resonated for some of you out there. Um, if it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and it lets me know that you resonated with the reading, which is very important for me. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians. Remember, you are an emperor or an empress. June is going to be awesome for you. Love and light.